I've also struggled um, mightily, and this is really concerning to me. It's about the most troubled I've been about my future as a money manager, maybe ever, is what you mentioned, the canceling of price signals. But it's not just the central banks. If it was just the central banks, I could, I could deal with that. But I'm, one of my strengths over the years was having deep respect for the markets right. and using the markets to predict the economy right. and particularly using internal groups right. within the market to make predictions. Right. And I think I was always open-minded enough and had enough humility that if those signals challenged my opinion, I went back to the drawing board and made sure right. things weren't changing. These algos have taken all the rhythm out of the market right. and have become extremely confusing to me. And when you take away price action versus news right. from someone who's used price action news as their major disciplinary tool for 35 years, right. it's tough and it's become very tough. I don't know where this is all going. If it continues, I'm not going to return to 30% a year anytime soon. Not that I think I might not anyway, but uh, one can always dream when the f free money ends, we'll go back to a normal macro trading environment. Well, let's talk about the algos. We haven't seen the algos sell. We've seen the algos buy. We saw a little bit of it in February when there was some uh, concentrated selling. We saw it in China in 2015, which was really scary. Most of the people weren't focused on that, but I was. I think you were, too. And they're programmed to sell if the market's down 2%. Machines are running, can't be stopped. A uh, huge amount of, of trading and money is being managed that way. And we've been operating in uh, a bull market and a strong economy. What happens when it's a bear market and a bad economy? And will things get out of hand? So knowing that, and knowing that we're at risk of that any moment uh, unfolding, January, February just came like this. Uh, how are you protecting yourself and insulating you? What are you watching for that that might happen? It's a little bit like after 9-11 waiting for yeah. um, the next terrorist act, in which case you would have missed a, rare, a roaring bull market for the next six years because right. you're sitting there because Dick Cheney told your neighbor you're supposed to move out of New York. <laughs> I'm just going to trust my instincts and technical analysis to pick up this stuff. But I, but I will say that, and I've proved it to my own detriment the last three or four years, the minute the risk-reward gets a little dodgy, I get more cautious than I probably would have been without yeah. this in the background. But I want to be clear that the major challenge for the algos, for me, is not some horrible market event. Right. I can actually see myself getting caught in that, but I could also see myself perhaps taking advantage of it. Right. The challenge for me is um, these groups that used to send me signals, right. it doesn't mean anything anymore. I, g I gave you one example this year. So the pharmaceuticals, which you would think are the most predictable earning streams out there, so there shouldn't be a lot of movement one way or the other. Um, from January to May, they were massive underperformers. In the old days, I'll look at that relative strength and I'll go, this, this group is a disaster. Okay, Trump's making some noises about drug pricing in the background. Yeah. But they clearly had chart patterns and relative patterns that suggest this group's a real problem. They were the worst group of any I follow from January to May. And with no change in news, and with no change in Trump narrative, and if anything, an acceleration in the U.S. economy, which should put them more toward the back of the bus than the front of the bus because they don't need a strong economy, they have now been about the best group from May until now. And I could give you 15 other examples, and that's the kind of stuff that didn't used to happen.